What's up, y'all? This is Franchise Play back with a boxer share video for Fight Night Champion. Yeah, Fight Night Champion been out what almost two years now. Uh, but hey, if you like boxing, this is still the only real game you can actually play. So a while back, I used to do these um, boxer share videos, and it was funny. I was about to do one. I had this one, you know, being prepped and ready to do, and somebody was like. You know, in the comment of the video, it was like, why do you don't do box and share videos anymore? So I'm like, man, bam, it was on his way anyway. So what I did basically is, you know, uh, Fight Night Champions, one of the uh, one of the one of the first games that allow you to use Game Face to create boxes. So you can take a photo, you know, if you can find a good one and basically morph it on the face of your uh, cabs, created boxes. It doesn't work quite as well with Fight Night Champion as it does with like Madden and FIFA. But it's better than nothing, right? So what I've done here is this is Thomas Adamic or uh, Thomas Adamic, depending on how you pronounce it. I think it's Adamic. But so, you know, Adamic just was the beneficiary of a straight out robbery over Steve Cunningham because Cunningham won that fight. But they gave it to Adamic. So uh, but Adamic is a tough dude. I mean, tough, big time chin, big power. He's a tough guy. And this is. Yon Pablo Hernandez, who is his current cruiserweight champion, who actually also beat Steve Cunningham in a little bit of a controversial rematch. Um, but yeah, he beat Steve Cunningham. Actually, the first one was I, I may even been a little bit more controversial because it uh, um, Yon Pablo Hernandez couldn't com couldn't uh, complete the fight because a huge gash opened up over his I think it's his left eye, so he couldn't kind of finish it up. So making both of them here and the attire that you see with Yon Pablo Hernandez is what he wore in his last fight, which was against, um, uh, man, I think, I think his name was Trey Scott. I think is the guy that he fought uh, the last one. I can't remember the guy's name. I'm sorry to him. He, you know, hey, I can't remember it. But, yeah, this is his attire there. If you look at Yon Pablo Hernandez, this the, the render that I got looked like Joakim Noah. Uh, with his hair cut off but when you look at a real picture of Yon Pablo Hernandez hey it kind of does look like that uh, I, I don't know if it's Yon or Yoan or I'm not sure but y'all know who the hell I'm talking about the cruiserweight champion okay so here is the stats and everything I put together for them what I do to put together these punches and uh, the punch stats and skill levels is I take a look at um, the fights basically that they've had I look at how much they use a jab. If they do drop a guy, I look at the punches they use when they drop them. Um, I look at how many KOs, what their KO percentage is. I look at the people who they fought. You know, if you have knocked guys out, are some of the guys that you knocked out guys who haven't been knocked out by other guys or who are known to have strong chins uh, for like endurance and conditioning? I take a look and see it later on in the fights if they start to get tired um, early as to something that's common for them toughness do they fight through cuts do they fight through being knocked down and that sort of thing so kind of try to go as deep with it as i can when i rate the boxes i think that's why some people were starting to kind of like some of the um the fighters i uploaded so i went ahead and threw these guys into a match and put them i put um hernandez as a heavyweight because they won't let you really make his weighted you know at cruiserweight so you kind of a light heavyweight's too small for him, and so the cruiserweight is actually—I mean, heavyweight is actually the closest to what he is. And the dude is six four, so he definitely has the height and the frame to be a heavyweight. So I'm interested in seeing if that's something that he wants to do with his career. I don't think he's a hard enough puncher, though, to be honest, to to bang with some of the big guys, especially the Klitschko's. So he may be best suited to stay at cruiser. Um, and if this simulation is any indication. Uh, that probably is 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 this is is this wise thing because based off the way I made his power, which and you got to think about it, he only has thirteen knockouts, I believe, of his twenty seven wins, and this is fighting Cruiser and light heavyweight. So you have you would have to imagine that he's not going to bring a great deal of power up to the heavyweight uh, division. And while he does have a decent jab and he throws nice combinations. It's only a certain amount of time that I think he's going to be able to avoid that type of shot like that, which you just saw from Adamic. And 
I I don't know. You see, it's a nasty cut, and I made the and they make his cut rating too high because I've seen him cut not only in just in the Cunningham fight, but I saw him cut in another fight before that too. So I'm figuring, you know, this guy, you know, decent, decent probability that he cuts. And here's a nasty left hook, straight right hand combination by Adamic. Drops Hernandez all under the ropes. That's not how you want to finish. And then to tap it out, left hook to the body, left uppercut by Adamic. Nice combination. That's nasty. Right on the chin. And Mr. Hernandez is going away. So that's that just just one particular thing so i mean that's not necessarily the end all be all of this i was just showing you a little bit of these guys here you see hernandez was winning with the jab both of these boxes are available on boxes share on xbox 360 you want to search franchise play you can pull them and the other guys that i've uploaded i got more to come y'all peace subscribe holla